Hello everyone and welcome back to Closets Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at Fuggle, a meditative bird flying game. This flying simulator promises to deliver you the relaxation many other games, especially online games, take away from you as you rage at your teammates. Whether it can deliver on this promise is the question we will try to answer today. Fuggle, a meditative bird flying game is available on Steam for 9 euros and 99 cents or your regional equivalent. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels rage after getting a bad match in an online game. Whether it's Dota or League of Legends for the MOBA players out there, Counter Strike or Overwatch for the FPS lover, or Rocket League for me personally, we all get tilted whenever we lose because of a bad teammate or when the trolls on the other team manage to get to us in their chat. I've been long searching for a game that would be there for me to go to, to relax and have the chance to regain my calmness before I go back into trying to rank up, as I do realize that playing while tilted is not the way to go to play the best I can. That's enough for the intro, let's now start with the review itself and as usually we will start by talking about the gameplay part of the game. But to be honest, there really isn't that much to talk about. Fuggle isn't a game you go play because you want to experience complicated mechanics or because you want to see if you're the best in it. You go play it when you want to relax and thus I think it is a good thing that it isn't complicated. The only real mechanic of the game is the flying itself. And to be blunt, a flying simulator is one of the few genres for which I would recommend using a controller. But that doesn't mean that Fuggle is completely unplayable with a mouse and keyboard. Well, just the mouse in this case. But using some kind of analog control makes the flight feel much more natural. The flight itself is also pretty simple. You use the analog stick or mouse to control where you're flying. And obviously you can use the inverted axis if you want to, though I never understood people who do. It just feels incredibly unnatural to me. Other than using the analog stick or the mouse to control where you're going, you can do exactly two other things with the bird you control. Accelerate with the right trigger or the left mouse button and decelerate using the left trigger or the right mouse button. Yes, if you're trying to decide which of the two control schemes you will use, this can be quite confusing. But if you decide straight away or once you decide, you will get used to it very quickly. And this incredibly simple control scheme makes the game quite easy to pick up even if you never ever played a flying simulator before. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the actual gameplay. There are two other things that change it up a bit, but those aren't that big. But because there really isn't anything else in the game, let's take a look at them as well. First of the two other things is the fact that you can crash. It won't kill you. It won't make your bird slower or anything like that. You would just need to take off again from the place where you have fallen. The fascinating thing about it is the fact that it also works on water. So you will crash into water and your bird will temporarily turn into bird Jesus. The second and the slightly more interesting of the two mechanics is the fact that your bird transforms into other kinds of animals as he gets close to them. Changing into a different animal somewhat changes the stats of your bird, mainly how fast he can fly. I will admit, the first time I changed into a bird monkey, I felt completely amazed. Yes, most of the animals will change to another bird or a flying animal like butterfly, but there are a few other ones that will just make you stop for a moment and wonder what drug the developers used while making that particular thing. In general, I really like the gameplay of Fuggle. It's calm, relaxing, and that's the point here. Now let's take a look at something that is very important in a game without many mechanics. How it looks visually. So Fuggle uses a very much Minecrafty look, using cubes to create everything in the world. This graphic style is very popular in the past years and while it isn't my favorite, it does fit quite well. It allows for your character to easily and seamlessly shapeshift and it makes it easy for you to craft your own character in the editor. 
The thing that makes the graphics of Fug really nice is the color scheme it's using. Vibrant colors fix the relaxing motifs very well. The second important part of a relaxing game are the sounds and music. And to be honest, this is probably the most disappointing part of Fuggle. Music is decent, but I do think that this genre requires great music. Luckily, it isn't that hard to find some music that fits and just play it in the background while playing the game. Though it does make me sad that you don't get this feature included. The sounds on the other hand, those are quite nice. Lastly, let's talk about the performance. When it comes to how well the game runs, here I don't have a problem. It was smooth, no visible frame rate drops or bugs inside the game either. But occasionally, when leaving the game I would get a fader crash instead of a clean shutdown. Because it was only while quitting the game, I don't really view this as a huge problem, but I would still like to see it fixed. So, in conclusion, Fuggle, a meditative bird flying game is quite interesting. If you're looking for something you can just relax in, Fuggle does definitely fit that well. It's also a game I can imagine you give to play to your small children because you don't want them to play some violent games, but they keep pestering you that they want to play something on your computer. For what it is, it is a bit pricey, but it's really hard to judge what the value of this will be for you. I'm definitely keeping this on my computer as I tend to get angry and tilted quite often, but if you're a calm person and never get tilted, you won't get that much value out of this. But if you're like me, I'm gonna definitely recommend this. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the review and if you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel and comment if you had something you would like to add. See you guys later with more gaming content.